Ever wonder what blood test your doctor needs if they suspect you have heart failure? First of all, what is heart failure? Heart failure, also known as congestive heart failure, is a condition in which the heart fails to pump blood effectively. It can either fail to relax to fill with enough blood, or it can fail to pump enough blood with each heart beat. In addition to x-rays, echocardiograms, and other tests, we're also going to check blood tests. We want to know your electrolytes, specifically your sodium. We're going to want to see how the other electrolytes are. We're going to check your kidney function, your liver function. We're going to check your thyroid function to see if it's too high or too low. We're going to check your cells. And specifically, we want to see if you have an anemia. We're also going to check the BNP, which is a blood marker that can rise when the heart is under stress. It's not always needed, but it can suggest, not prove, heart failure. As doctors, if we suspect you are having heart failure, we're going to ask you a lot of questions. We're going to ask you about your past medical history, other medical conditions. Do you smoke? Do you drink? Do you use any other drugs? We're going to ask about your immediate blood relatives, your brothers, sisters, and your parents, and see if any of them have medical conditions such as heart disease. We're also going to ask about symptoms. For example, are you having shortness of breath, swelling in your legs, having chest pain, just feeling exhausted and fatigued all the time? Are you having trouble lying down flat at night? Or have you noticed that you've been having to sleep on two to three pillows? Or have you been unable to sleep in the bed and now sleep in a recliner? All of these can suggest a diagnosis of heart failure. Heart failure is a simple diagnosis but identifying it is key. And with all the information, the entire picture, your doctor can tell you whether or not you have heart failure.